Hey everybody, YouTube. It was just way too hot wearing that blazer. So hopefully I'm still respectable as an educator. Or is it okay if I wear a t-shirt next time? <laughs> uh, I'm looking for... Ta-da! Ah, oh, I can't start without that. All right, so lecture time. Today we're going to the Turkish bath, they're famous. It is one of those rare places where you have something this famous, you gotta go, just like in Japan, you gotta go the onsens. We're gonna walk over there, and it's right here, Turkish bath. It's on the foothills of the Citadella. There's also some caves we're gonna try to visit on our way there as we walk over. There is a couple of churches, St. Francis and St. Michael. We're gonna try to visit those, since churches are cool. <laughs> then we're gonna make our way over to the city park. There's the Museum of Fine Arts, and there's the Millennium Square, and there's this really cool, hmm, how do I say this? I gotta pull up the pronunciation. Uh, Vada va, va, va Hudyad Castle. Who's gonna ever get that right? Anyways, we're gonna go over there, and then we'll give the final verdict. Is Budapest, Hungary worth visiting? <laughs> from, a per, from a tourist perspective. <laughs> Whatever that counts for, right? All right, let's go. So, starting our morning, going for our walk. I wasn't sure whether I was going to take public transit, but I'm glad I did end up walking, seeing some cool stuff like this. Love graffiti. And uh, a lot of tourists. This is pretty cool. This is a pizza that's wrapped up. <laughs> and here I am trying to look inside, see if, in, if it's anyone's in there beating. But it was empty, so I didn't end up beating there. There's a bunch of tour groups and you know, it's kind of fun following them for a bit. So I was following them and hearing about some of the stories uh, of some of the different murals that were up on the walls. Some of the cool artwork that caught my attention. Little go-karts right there. So this one, this particular mural has a story. I tried to go to the, one of these synagogues, but you know, there's, there's a ticket. <laughs> you gotta pay, so I said, all right, forget it. Uh, here's my street food, my lunch, so that way I can carry it and eat it. Nah, I know that's not uh, not so fancy, just like my hostel that I'm staying at. <laughs> but the food was delicious. I love my shawarmas. And so now we're in one of the first churches. This is the St. Francis Church. Both of these churches that we're brought to see are uh, from the 17th century. And luckily, St. Michael's, you're allowed to, to walk in and, and visit. And uh, of the two, of course, this one's probably the nicer one because you can walk through it. It's very quiet, very peaceful, not a lot of people. Um, but it was a nice little walk just to, to check out. And, and now we're walking over. And uh, so it was the first rainy day I could think of. And I swapped out, changed. <laughs> Luckily I had my sandals, so I swapped out. Got my sandals on instead of my running shoes, which will get soaked. Uh, and uh, head over to the bathhouse. Uh, I'm gonna hang out there for a few hours, kind of relax. It's my last day, so uh, I think I probably could have spent another day here. Uh, everything else felt pretty rushed, even though I'm, I'm shooting on all these devices. I think that makes a big difference as well. But uh, yeah, it's a cool place. It's uh, very cheap, very affordable. I uh, had a pizza slice for a couple bucks and then I had a euro for about three, so very reasonable. And uh, people here are all tourists, though. So. so here's Elizabeth Bridge. It was destroyed during World War II, and now we're going to walk over. Um, like I said, just rained, so that was kind of interesting. It's beautiful. And we crossed over, and this is the chapel. This is the cave. Heading over, and there is the five star hotel. Very fancy. That's where we'll be going afterwards. But unfortunately, the Hill Cave Chapel was closed. I don't know why it was closed. It was supposed to be open. Maybe the rain. And now we're inside of the, the Turkish bathhouse. I think it was about $30, uh, 30 euro to get in. Now you can stay there all day, which I thought was kind of a lot, uh, considering everything has been so cheap. But yep. here we are. So we're in the Gellert thermal uh, bath, Turkish style. Is this Turkish style bath? What is this? Primary crime. I think Turkish style. What's up? Oh, okay. No, but inside the hotel is really. Nice. So me and Quan are just kicking it. I think that we stayed there for about two or three hours, just hanging out. It was not that hot. 
Yeah, I thought you were. Uh, but the sun was out. But once the sun was gone, it was not. It was not so pleasant. But here we are. We're gonna walk around. Uh, as you can see, there's tons of lawn. What are these called? Lawn chair beds. <laughs> So maybe I'll play some music, let this thing play out. Give me the tour. Celsius in that tub. It is really awesome. I totally recommend going in there. Uh, I think it lasted for about two minutes. I could have stayed longer, I just got bored. But it is very cold when you first start off. Alright, cue the music again. it up and there's a lot of rooms I didn't get a chance to record all of the other rooms that were there uh, but it's very very interesting a lot of fun um, a lot of character and now we're heading over to the city park unfortunately to make it into the Museum of Fine Art uh, I was really disappointed they had an awesome exhibition I missed it and now we're walking through. I, again, I didn't have time to go inside the castle. Yeah, it's basically uh, I probably an extra couple days would have worked out nicely for Budapest. Uh, so that way I could get more recording done and, and things like that. My usual travel plan is, is two full days, two travel days and then two full days. So four, roughly four days in every uh, city slash country that I visit. And I, I guess that's not enough these days. I need a little more time. And so I think next time I'll do that. I'll probably go five or six for each city or country just so I don't have to, uh, uh, that way I can see everything, you know? This one? Yeah, you can enter it, but I don't know what they have. And it was really cool. They had a festival going on yeah. and uh, they were just finishing up, but still very interesting uh, that there's so much going on in the city. And this place felt very, very much more local than any other place that I've been to. Uh, so I think, you know, this, this could be a really cool opportunity to meet some interesting people. And so there's the castle, very beautiful and very inexpensive. It's about three euro uh, for, for a visit. So very nice. So the question is, is Hungary worth visiting? This is a very complicated way of answering it. Yes and no. If you had to choose three places in Europe to visit? No, it doesn't crack the top three. But it is a great alternative if you are looking for something inexpensive because it's very cheap. If you like to partake in the nighttime scene and have some cold beverages, also very excellent. But in terms of history, culture, I didn't really find it to be terribly interesting. Again, I only went to Budapest. Now, if you went to other cities, I think you can get more out of it, especially if you have a local friend or if you speak the language. Uh, and the food was not good. The city is beautiful with the river in the middle though. So that's worth something. I'm gonna give it a score, uh, seven to 10. I'm gonna give it a C. It's good, you got some time to kill. Definitely worth visiting. Otherwise, I might have to pass, watch my videos. That'll be it. That's like you went there, right? We've just completed our second country. We've already went to France, so check those videos out. Uh, this is Professor Pete. We just finished this class on Budapest. 
We'll see you in the next video. We're going to go to another country. We're gonna hit 100 countries, and this is just the second one. Class is over. We'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to LSC. Like, subscribe, and comment. Bye-bye.